I've always said I wanted Scrum and Agile to go away. Is that happening? I don't think a week passes that I don't see a video or article about their deaths. Within a few years of the Agile Manifesto being written, I began to say I wanted Agile to go away. I didn't mean I wanted us to stop using Agile, rather I wanted Agile to win. I want Agile to become so much the accepted approach to product development or to teamwork in general that we can stop talking about it. Instead of saying Agile software development, for example, I could just say software development. And the assumption would be that, of course, that meant Agile software development. To some extent, we're there. When Scrum emerged as the original Agile framework in the mid-1990s, cross-functional teams were not common. They are now. Software development back then was done in phases, typically an analysis phase followed by a design, coding, and testing phase. Heavy-duty, pixel-perfect prototypes were common back then due to the high cost of iterating over a design. While prototypes are still used today, multiple quick prototypes are now common to help product owners and managers choose between options. Before the advent of Agile, organizations thought they could add quality to a product by testing quality in at the end. Agile has helped us see that isn't possible. Barry Beam's spiral model in 1986 and Tom Gilb's evolutionary delivery in 1988 started a shift to iterative incremental development, but that shift accelerated dramatically after the manifesto in 2001. Recent videos, articles, and podcasts saying Agile is dead are not saying we need to reverse the improvements Agile initiated or accelerated. I haven't seen anything advocating a return to waterfall development, or more accurately, to the ad hoc development practices that were more common before Agile. Instead, the Agile is dead articles more closely mimic my long-held view that we can eventually stop talking about Agile teams, Agile development, Agile frameworks, and more. Those terms will just become teams, development, and frameworks. So are Agile and Scrum dead? I don't think so. I think there's still plenty of work ahead. It's why my company has been focusing more attention toward whole team training. Some of the Agile and Scrum fatigue I sense today is analogous to what happens in the music industry. Fans who love an artist's first few albums often sour on that artist when they're discovered by the masses. The artist is no longer the hip new thing, and many early fans move on because of that. I'll be happy when Agile wins, when we can drop it as an adjective in front of so many terms. Until then, I will remain dedicated to helping teams succeed, whether we call it Agile or not. If this video has been useful, please click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips to help you succeed with Agile. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.